everybody. Welcome back to the Jackson Reaction. Uh, today we're going to check out an interview uh, with Dimash Kudai Bergen. Uh, looks like it's an MTV exclusive interview. I believe it dropped on Friday. Um, right now it's Sunday, so I'm a little late to this, but I wanted to check it out because I, uh, I started reacting to Dimash a couple weeks ago and I've been amazed at everything I've heard so far. So I definitely want to get to know uh, him a little bit better as well. Um, if you're new to the channel, thank you for tuning into the Jackson Reaction. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I would love to have you join the Jacked Up crew. Um, if you would like to support the channel, I am a singer-songwriter, and I do have information to do that in the description as well. And I have a special right now for um, joining my Patreon for as low as a dollar. I will drop a reaction video of your request on my channel. Uh, let's get right into this. This is Dimash Kudai Bergen MTV exclusive interview. All right, well, Dimash, welcome to Friday Live Stream, first of all. It is amazing to have you on the show. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. It's also uh, an honor to point out that you have trusted us and you've been kind enough to uh, share with us. This is your first ever English, all English, you should say, interview without a translator. So in advance, uh, I just wanted to thank you for that. I will to try to do my best. Absolutely. Um, now, speaking of languages, you have sung songs in 12 different languages, wow. which is just really amazing. How many languages do you speak? I speak Kazakh, Russian, and a little bit of English. You have actually sung, it sounds like, or performed songs, I should say, in languages that you don't necessarily speak, which is really remarkable. I don't That's speak Chinese, I don't speak Korean, but I want to try, especially for my fans. So your wow. fans are called Deers, and they're some of the loudest fans that we have now because of you. How would you describe your fans? They want to introduce my music uh, in uh, USA, in Europe, in Asia. Uh, so they have hard work. They do. It's, it's a full-time job being a deer. Where did that come from, the fandom name of deers? It happened almost four years ago after the premiere of uh, episode, of first episode in, uh, uh, of I'm Singer. I gained a lot of fans. I needed to address them somehow. So I called them dears because for me, they are uh, as dear as my family. That's I've awesome. read a remarkable stat. I'm curious if it's true that if you go all the way back to the beginning, your first performance on stage was at the age of two. I don't remember, so I can't <laughs> how it happened. But my parents are singers, and uh, when I was little, His parents I were toured singers. with cool. them. That's amazing. You were a natural. So there's a song of yours that broke some records. Can you tell us about that? From when I was a child, uh, I always dreamed that one day I will hear Kazakh songs on American music channel. I'm very happy that Hairan Yelim, my song, was first to break this record. What was your reaction when you heard the Deers had gotten you onto this, this MTV show? Of course, I'm happy. I uh, want to say thank you for your team. Thank you for you and uh, thanks lot of thanks for all my fans. Of course, you know, touring a little crazy these days be, uh, because of COVID and the pandemic, but um, do you have any future touring plans? I would love to continue my world tour uh, now and uh, to add a few countries. But the biggest news I have for my fans uh, is that my online concert will be released on 16th of January. That's Ooh. awesome. Nice. Dimash, I really wanted to ask you about Project Cure. Can you tell me a little bit about it and what your role is? I'm very honored to be Project Cure's global ambassador. They have many important uh, projects, uh, including events hosted by Elvis Duran. And uh, thanks to him, many celebrities like Kesha, uh, Jason Derulo, and the Katy Perry have supported their cause. Yeah, that's awesome. We couldn't have a Dimash interview without some questions from the Deers. And here are some of the uh, best questions we were able to gather. There are a lot, so here are a few of them. What music, genre, singer, oldies, newbies, etc., does uh, do you listen to? I am a melaman. I love different types of music. Uh, when I rest, I can listen to hard to rock, uh, then some baroque music of Roman Catholic core, and then some rap from wow. Eminem and then some jazz, and then some Italian classics, and then fall asleep. So you listen to Nice. <laughs> All right, this comes from uh, Dimash Kneecap. OMG, ask about his to-be-released new video. Plans to finish the song, Love's Not Over Yet. Oh, and has he learned to cook in lockdown yet? Okay. Some time ago, I released a music video for uh, Golden, 
and very soon there will be another video for a song that I never performed uh, for my audience. And uh, have you learned how to cook in lockdown yet? Of course, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Me neither. All right, Me let's neither. get to this next one from Dimash's Right Eyebrow. Uh, what is your favorite song at the moment? All songs by Michael Jackson. That's awesome. Right, yeah. Pavarotti. Pavarotti, Pavarotti. He's uh, like classical. Yes. Yes. Beautiful voice. All right, well, Dimash, thank you so much for hanging out with us here on the Friday live stream. Thank you, brother. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, dude, it's all good, man. And uh, we're gonna get back to some more videos. This is a Roxy with Party Stars. That was uh, that was really cool, man. I uh, I learned a lot about Dimash there. Um, I'm really I'm really stoked about that. I'm glad we checked this out. Um, let me know if you have any other fun facts about Dimash in the uh, in the comments below. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, we'll definitely be checking out that concert video he drops on the 16th of January. Um, other than that, uh, I will catch you guys next time. Everybody stay safe and have a great week.